Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the SIM unlocking or network unlocking of a mobile device in order for it to be used with a different compatible wireless carrier or network. Now, here with us today, we have a Motorola Moto G Pure that is originally from the carrier Metro by T-Mobile here in the U.S., which is a prepaid subsidiary of T-Mobile. And this device has not yet been SIM or network unlocked, and we can see that because we have a different carrier SIM card inserted here. And on the lock screen or the notification panel here, we have this message up at the top of the screen saying that it is network locked. And then when we go ahead and swipe that away, we also see this pop-up message from Metro saying that the device is locked and to go check in the settings to see if it can be unlocked. So uh, Metro, like pretty much all other US carriers, does sell all of their devices SIM locked by default, and then they have to undergo some sort of unlock process in order to be used with a different compatible wireless carrier or network. And so pretty much all of the US carriers will do the SIM unlock for you if you meet all of their requirements. And so pretty much all of the carriers have a whole laundry huge list of requirements that have to be met in order for them to do the SIM unlock for you. So the device has to be fully paid off and out of contract and not on a financing plan and you can't be behind on your bills and you have to be the original owner of the device as the person making the unlock request and you have to have used it with them for a certain period of days, weeks, months, whatever the case may be and the list goes on and on and on. So over the years, we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us to assist them with this specific issue on this specific model, usually either because they themselves wanted to change carriers away from Metro and use a different one, but before satisfying all of Metro's requirements in order for them to do the SIM unlock, or the other case that unfortunately happens is a lot of times someone will purchase a used device unknowingly from a scammer who claims that the device is already unlocked or that it's already eligible to be unlocked and they just have to contact Metro or whatever the case may be. And then after the purchase, the buyer discovers that that's actually not true. The device is still locked. It's not eligible to be unlocked. And in that case, the seller has usually long since disappeared since again, it is a super common scam that happens all the time these days in the buying and selling of used mobile devices. So we're making this video here today to show any interested customers that we do offer a service to be able to get this device network unlocked without having to go directly through Metro and meet all of their various requirements in order for them to do the SIM unlock for you. The procedure is something that we do directly to the phone while it is plugged into a computer. And the great thing about this is that it's something that can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You would just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect through the internet right to your computer to perform the exact same process that we're doing right here right now. So actually, as I've been speaking, I've been running our unlock program here on the phone. That goes ahead and takes care of that for us. It needs maybe just another minute or so to finish up running. And then after the phone reboots, we should indeed be able to see that we no longer get those same error messages that we were seeing on it previously with that other SIM card inserted. So just hold on while that finishes running. Okay, so the phone is now fully rebooted. We should be all set. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it, and then we can go ahead and see right away that on the lock screen, or the notification panel, we no longer have that network lock message showing there, so that is a very good indication. It now just says no service, but that's just because the SIM card that we have inserted isn't actually an active one. And then if we go ahead and swipe away the lock screen, we do see that it goes just directly to the regular home screen and we no longer have that pop-up message from Metro stating that it is a locked device. So those are great indications that the device has now been fully network unlocked and is usable on other compatible carriers. But then also if we go ahead and pop into the settings, when we go under 
network and internet, and there under mobile network, we can indeed see that it does say Verizon, and that is indeed the uh, carrier of the SIM card that we have inserted. So all of those are your indicators that the device is now successfully network unlocked and can be used with any other compatible wireless carriers. And then for identifying the device, uh, a lot of Motorola's devices look the exact same and they have the same model numbers, but one way to identify this specifically as a Metro device is by all of the Metro apps that come preloaded here. So they have a folder with several of their apps that they preload, so that is one indication of where the device originally comes from. And then if we go in the settings here, I'm going to pop down and just show you exactly what it shows for model. So we can indeed see that we have a Moto G Pure. If my focus would cooperate, actually I can just tap on that and it should pull up this section. Moto G Pure, and then that model number there, the XT2163-4. So that's the model number of the Metro variant of the G Pure. So if you have one of these G Pures from Metro by T-Mobile and need help getting a network unlocked, we would love to assist you with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and we'll also put a slide at the end of the video that has all of our contact details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel, as we offer a lot of different services for thousands of models of mobile devices, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday. Hitting that subscribe button while you're there will enable you to be notified of all of the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like we're doing here with this one. Y para todos ustedes hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes también nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.